tell. We actually uploaded some stuff recently. I'm going to be uploading more. Yay! Yeah, can... By the time that this episode is heard, though, like the, everything else should be up. So. And you should have a mic with cool. decent quality again. Yeah. Well, yeah. Right now, I'm, I guess, off site of my recording area. He's so punishing just... a dog, folks. <laughs> A dog is in he's timeout right now. punishing a fucking dog by putting it in a, He's giving a dog a timeout. Yeah, so I'm giving a dog a timeout, just because if not, then she would just be sitting here barking at me and staring at me. And this is what editors do outside of con season. Mm-hmm. <laughs> outside of con <laughs> season. <laughs> that's, oh God, that's a that's a title contender right in the beginning of the podcast. All right. For this episode. Con oh, yeah. season. Too sorry. But, uh, when Yoma okay. Khan lets out the editor's true side is revealed. <laughs> <laughs> so, this episode, so again, just kind of, we're, I mean, just kind of don't exactly have a whole lot going on, so it's just another shoot the shit podcast. However, I am just going to gloat to start because uh, oh, here we go. Lone has won his first Khan award. Was it from Yoma? It means nothing. Means nothing, less than nothing. It still means something. It no, was it still legit. See, the, 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 reason, the reason, like, proceed. He's just being an asshole. That, that's proceed. <laughs> the reason Da is being an asshole is because he has not won anything at that con. No, because I've seen their judging methods and I don't approve. Uh, no, Rachel. <laughs> Pumbaa, I don't, I don't, I don't, because he didn't. That was that was my snob nigginess from you, Da. I, I do not appreciate that. Snob nigginess? What? He heard me. But yeah, so, I did, but I had the double table. What? <laughs> <laughs> I do not approve of their judging skills. I am the god of editing, and all must worship me. At this guy, I heard the end. Did not pick my video. My video. It's like, it's like, have they seen War? That is my greatest masterpiece. That is my fifth. I didn't say it was my greatest masterpiece. Have you seen Dance? It was my fifth. Fourth greatest masterpiece. <laughs> I didn't say that either. These are not my words. <laughs> no, they're my words. Ladies and gentlemen, these are DA's words, just off mic. You see, when he's off mic, he puts on his monocle and he that he, that, that, that he borrows from loan, and then he pretends to be <laughs> a. Say it's my shtick. <laughs> like he borrows it from loan, and then he walks around you know, judging people who judge cons. Like your judging skills are subpar at best. Mm. <laughs> 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 but anyways, so I was, I was trying to get another. I was trying to enter two. That's the max you can enter in Ohio Con. I was trying to. I had. I actually. Blah, I can't talk. So Ohio Con is different from Yoma Con in the sense that it only accepts Japanese material. For the majority. You could have, I think they said like 30% of some other thing, but most of it has to be an anime or a. Yeah, Japanese. it's the same with AMV.org, isn't it? Same kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's part of uploading AMV.org. stuff. And the only thing in this past year that I made that was anime was my Cowboy Bebop full that I made this summer. Like, a lot of the other stuff, well, the only other full I made would not have been able to have been entered because, fuck that nigga. <laughs> but Korra is Kawaii Desune. Oh, I, oh I, I asked about Korra, and they said no. That it was American-made, which sucked. But anyways... Yeah, it's a and, D. And to really? that, like the well, the second place video, I thought was I guess okay. I actually thought if there's a a video that should have beat me, it should have been uh, Le- 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 Meat Wad entered a video, and it was kind of like an unorthodox action video with like a pop song, I think. <clears throat> Which I thought was pretty good, but uh, I ended up winning my first con award, which was cool. Look at all the fucks we give. Bad, yeah. Fuck you. Huh? Apparently a lock is you so pooper peeved over it. Bad, I mean, the only thing that's... Of course, the one con I don't go to. Of course. I win something. Three fucks. Uh, I, uh, I, I can't uh. have, like, the, you know, yeah. like, the awesome feeling of being in a con and being like, oh, I won an award. No. No, you didn't get that. <laughs> no. No, you just get me... You just you find out through YouTube comments, oh, I won? Ha, ha, ha. But uh, meanwhile, you know, in Daville. Meanwhile, in the Da Cave. <laughs> yeah, he's publishing the Da Cave. It's a disturbance in the form. Heading the turtle that is there angrily looking. <laughs> oh, 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 John, you missed it before. 
off off mic, we uh, me and my buddy Brett, we 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 deigned what uh, D A stands for. Right. It stands for Diddler Arts. <laughs> Diddling arbitrarily. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, and actually the other thing that I, they actually I get at, substance to these podcasts. I really do. John, you are the walking embodiment of 4chan. You give yeah, I, any oh, internet actually, person. Actually, now that we have him on a podcast, speaking of which, where's the cat video? Yeah, where is the cat video, John? Uh, yeah. About that. <laughs> I need footage. Sleeves. <laughs> No, I wasn't going to leave the fuck that you. I, I, I have not been in one of these cock-sucking podcasts for like a fucking month. No we done, way. actually done one in like a month. Yeah, really. We haven't really done one. It was two weeks ago, and I joined when you guys are ending the podcast, and I start screaming obscenities. Well, that's because that's when you came back online from being gone for like the entire night. Which is why you couldn't jump on Steam to message me? I think. I'm never on Steam anyway. I never come on Steam. Into internet? What? No. <laughs> No, but Anyways, money bags okay. is. Ladies, ladies, stop the cat fight. By the way, when DA borrows your monocle, do you have a backup gold plated one to use? Of course, of course, of course. Money bags. Yes, I have a collection of fifty. But uh, I, I, no, I, no, just being more cocky. I have a hundred and fifteen extra. Not 150. It Not the original amount of Pokemon. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. No. It took me like half a second to get that. Wait, what the fuck just happened? No. What happened? <laughs> I mean, no. like I just said I have 115 extra, 115 being the number at the end of my username. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. That's not clever or funny. <laughs> That's actually one... pretty, that was pretty good. It's not better than any of your work. Oh. But anyways, the point I'm trying to make is when uh, they told me, like, they emailed me saying I won the award, asking stuff, they actually also asked me to judge next year. Really? At the convention. So, yeah, fuck Good you, luck, VA. You're never winning anything in Ohio now. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, then, and, then, and, then, and then you just do racial equality. Let Alex win. Oh, my God. I think they muted their mic because I've been ripping on them this entire time. <laughs> oh, no, that's okay. But yes, just wanted to throw that out there. I'm happy. Yeah, I, I guess you should be. We all like, are. It's been I'm not. <laughs> well, DA, yeah, you're never happy. Unless, unless, all, unless the 10 year old's in your lap, of course. <laughs> this is true. Okay, old so. enough to pee, old enough to pee. <laughs> <laughs> wow, John. Dude, that's, uh, dude, I've I've said worse. My dad said worse. He was putting a lock on a door and said to his cousin, "This lock is tighter than a twelve-year-old." Damn! He wouldn't talk to my dad for four months. I don't blame him. See, this is the point where I wish we had uh, what should we call it? Yours? Uh, wow, webcams. There we go. Because I just want to see Da's face during all of this. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me go. Let me go. Let me get an accurate. Let me get an accurate picture of this. One second, I have that. <laughs> yes, you want an image? You talk to John. But uh, anyway, so continuing on. So just there's, I mean, there's been a lot of different random things here and there that I've seen stuff. Want to talk yeah. about? One thing I wait, I want to wait to see if Alex comes on to talk about Devil May Cry, just because. Yeah. Yada, yada. I mean, I've got something I want to bring up real quick right now. Actually, it's about sure. gaming. But so I don't know if anybody's following the um, Elder Scrolls Online. Nope. All right. I know it's at least a cinematic trailer. That's all I know. They actually just put out an put out a application to sign up for the open beta. Hmm. Interesting. So yeah, and basically they're sending out confirmation emails now that we're supposed to be getting within the next forty eight. Oh, my um, Brett's already got one, but I should be hopefully getting mine soon. I should probably already have mine. Yeah, I, should, I, I probably already have mine. I haven't checked it yet. But basically, I mean, like, if you get in, you you get in. You get to yeah. check the whole game out. And honestly, I've been following it pretty closely, and on, the game really does look really fucking good. I've heard different. A lot, well, actually, okay, let me rephrase that. <clears throat> Just a lot of people were butthurt about the cinematic trailer, how it didn't show anything. Which I actually found funny. This is like a paradigm. There was um, Cyberpunk 2077. Yes. 2077 that just came out with the cinematic trailer. It actually looks pretty interesting. It's and, uh, just a cinematic, you know, 
trailer, though, with... No, this is the thing. Since that didn't Cyber- interest me at all. Well, Cyber- since Cyberpunk is a new IP, you know, most people are saying, like, oh, okay, this is, you know, this looks interesting, yada, yada, yada. The Elder Scrolls released a cinematic trailer. Fans are like, what the fuck, man? I want to see gameplay. It's probably going to be horseshit. Like, just because it's already an established franchise. Yeah, I yeah. I would just look at them and, I would just look at them and tell them the Foose row, shut the fuck up. Also, click the link in the chat. <laughs> also, the click the link in the chat. I looked at what they're in there. Yep, that's DA. Let's see. Yeah, oh, that, that's, not, that's not as horrible as I thought it'd be. Oh, horrible? Okay, one second. I'll fix this. <laughs> So yeah, just speak the word. But uh, all right, hold on. I'm pulling this out. I'm pulling this out. Hold on, hold on. I went into Google Chrome. I went into Google to try and find a picture to accurately portray how I see DA right now. I go to I, I type in N I G, and then Google fills in the rest G A R D L Y. So I went and put in nigga. I got niggardly. Ah, uh, gotcha. Niggardly. Interesting. Niggeromics. Nibonics. Uh, <laughs> Nibonics. But uh. Anyway. <laughs> no. Oh, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> I found it. I found the DA while you're, picture. While you're doing that, I'm going to continue on. But uh. I found no, the you're, DA you're, picture. PG. PG. Oh, you're, not alone. you're not bulldozing through this, and you know it. <laughs> there. Click the link. Click the link. I found the DA picture. You can click it if you want. I'm not, I'm not clicking. Click the fucking picture, you two. I'm not clicking. <laughs> All right. Anyways. <laughs> BG, did you get Nino Cooney? Oh, yeah, I'm playing it. Fucking amazing. What? You're playing it right now? Not in my hands, but yeah. Well, no, that, that's why. Oh, sorry, that's why. I mean, you're currently, you know, in a game session. Yeah, his face when he found out Lone Win and he Lone One and he didn't. How is it? Isn't anything? Yes, I am playing. That's it. actually Alex. When never mind. <laughs> That's Alex. I can, see why, you, I can see why you stopped. But uh, but how is it so far? Just because I've seen and heard good things about it, but it's uh, it looks really good. If nothing, yeah, I, mean, I mean, I just started, so um, the battles are a bit slow. Yeah. But I, I figure it's going to pick up the further I get on. Yeah, I mean, when you have, you know, freaking... Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Studio can't Ghibli. Think, yeah, Ghibli, but I can't I think, think of the director's name. Uh, no. You know, I really wish it was available for Xbox. Cause I've got like 110 bucks in my wallet. I could fucking afford it right now. Wait, what game? Nini Kuni? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Cocksucker's PlayStation 3 exclusive. I'm not spending 200 bucks on a console to play a Hayao, Mi- ha- <laughs> Hayao Miyazaki movie. Wow, I cannot... There we go, that. Miyazaki. <laughs> John answered it for me. All right, anyway, moving it's on. It's also not by Studio Ghibli. Moving on to a game... Moving on to something that's not completely fucking retarded. Uh, it's not retarded. It's really good. Whatever. So... They've, you least, you fucking rack discipline proceed. You really fucking do. You are a fucking dishonorable display. You fucking goddamn it. <laughs> so anyway, they finally figured out the roster for what they want to do with the Justice League movie. They've figured out who they want to have in it, like superhero wise. So apparently, the new Justice League of, Justice League of America. No, is it Justice League of America? Yeah, it's the JLA movie, J- Justice League of America. Awesome. It's, uh, they're going with Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Flash, and Green Lantern. So they're going with the original five for the Justice League. What do you do? Why is this news? I actually, the thing is, it's, I don't know, it's, I guess it is news, because apparently there was talk of them using somebody else besides, like, Green Lantern and Flash. I can imagine. No, ma- no Manhunter? There's like, no Manhunter, Hawkman, or Hawk Girl. Like, like, apparently they were, originally they were thinking about going Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, um, Martian Manhunter, and Hawkman. Well, now they're not. Look now they're do. now they're going Green Lantern and Flash. And Hal Jordan will be played by Ryan Reynolds. Whoop de doo. Apparently they they want to go with the what's his name version, the black guy version. I forget his name. John Stewart. Yeah. That makes sense. I don't know. No, that makes no sense. Cartoon route. Yeah, I guess to go in the cartoon route. I guess. But uh. And that still makes no sense. Last thing, you know, last thing I saw was it was going to be the Ryan Reynolds character. Personally, I think he'd make a better Flash. 
Ryan Reynolds? No, no, no. I think he made a, a fine Hal Jordan. I think he makes a fine Hal. I just think he wasn't given a good script. Oh my he god! Makes, makes a pretty good Hal Jordan. Flash isn't oh very god. um. I'm looking for the word animated. Yeah, I yeah, that's a good way to put it. And Hal Jordan really is. Ha ha ha. Sucks to be you, John. But anyways, uh, what's the other thing I had in my mind? Well, actually, we... uh, The one thing, too, which Proceed brought to my attention, I didn't know about it, was Star Wars Episode Seven finally has a director. Yep. And it's J.J. Abrams. (laughs) (laughs) J.J. is going to direct the new Star Wars movie. Look at all the fucks that's going to be good. Why can't he? He did Star Trek, right? He did Star Trek, and yeah. Did he do Star Super Eight? Yeah, he did Super Eight as well. Yeah. Yeah. I so, saw Super Eight. It was okay. Super Eight was a good movie, man. That was a good movie. I like Super Eight. I liked it a lot. I, I did. I do too. I enjoyed it. Oh, well, actually, were you? Uh, got to throw, yeah, oh, throw it the ball. Fuck. So throw it the ball. No, you don't. You just throw it at. It doesn't explode until you shoot it, Dan. Sorry. My brother uh, is currently playing Darksiders 2, and um, I'm directing him on how to actually get through the certain part. So, BGDA, when I saw your, what was it, movie night thing. Your action bad movie night was Battle Los Angeles? Yes. Oh, Battle LA. Kevin loved that movie. I didn't think it was that Ugh. bad. It was so stupid! Well, again, again, he's looking at it from a military point of view. They were full of military cliches. Yeah, well, again, that's why somebody from the Navy would, I guess, appreciate that movie. Yeah, yeah, but us normies? Eh. Us normies. <laughs> the plot was just dumb, and it ended dumb, and it was just dumb. It was a bad movie. It was a bad movie. I just found yeah, it a, I, a typical action movie. Yeah, exactly. I that's how it I can understand it being a popcorn flick and... You gotta go around the other side, though. No, it's... No. That that's the same thing they say about Transformers. The, no, the dude, the dude, within the first like five minutes of the movie, writes a letter to his wife. Yeah, when he kissed that baby, I said he's dead and he died. But <laughs> <laughs> you knew he was done. The second Come he wrote on. that letter, you knew he was done. Got to jump in. So whatever. That fucking typo I made in the other chat. February. February. At least you didn't put a P there. February. At least you put a P where the B was. I knew you were going there. Fap you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> nice chest I punch. broke this month. Go fucking bite yourself. Huh? So how is your bad movie nights going, BG, BA? Bad. Not good. Speaking <laughs> of... So speaking of terrible. movies. Speaking of movies, who went to go see The Last Stand? The Last Stand? Never the new heard. Arnold Schwarzenegger film oh, with John Lee God. Knoxville. I've heard it was god awful. Dude, like, hey, who here cares if I t- say one little fucking excerpt from the movie? Because the gore Don't level care. and the effect Don't is beautiful. That's the question. Okay, Knoxville fires a random flare gun at a fucking asshole trying to kill him. Guy's got shotgun shells all around his body. You know, change of the shit. It ignites them all, and his entire upper half is blown to fucking pieces. All right. I like gore fests. I like blood fests. I like Arnold movies. <laughs> That's why I'm going to go see Parker either Saturday or next Saturday. Parker, isn't that, isn't that a Sly movie? Nope, Statham. That's Statham? Jason Statham. So what's Sly's My favorite movie action hero. And next month on the 14th... That's um, oh, not coming out for 16th. a little while. <clears throat> on the 16th, me and my mom are going to go see Die Hard 5. Oh god, the new Die Hard. I, I, it looks promising, actually. I fucking love that in the trailer. Do you want to hug? We're not a very huggy family. Damn straight. Damn. Did, uh, has anyone seen American Gangster? That's the movie that, yes. uh, that's out now that I really want My to mom see. wants to see that. American Gangster? That's not new. Well, um, the Gangster movie. Gangster Squad, sorry. Gangster oh, Squad. American Gangster's not new. That was, that's, yeah, with, that was uh, that's with, that's with, what's his name? That movie's amazing. Yeah, that's Denzel, right? Yeah. But uh, got to use the camera. Squad, that just came out. You mean Gangster Squad? Yeah, I kind of, I really do want to see Gangster Squad. Anyone seen that here? No, hey, no. Oh. Well, it's got Emma Stone, and Emma Stone is yeah, hot. hot. 
What's on sale for Valve right now? But, uh... Yeah, that, I don't think there's anything else that is really coming out. Move, I can't really think of anything movie-wise. Like, uh, not, no, not right now. Movie-wise, it's kind of... How soon are you talking? What? Uh, how soon are you talking? Well, like, uh, within the next three months. Well, Iron Man comes out in the next three months. Yeah. That's at the very end. All right, all right, I'll give you that, Iron Man. I can't wait for the new Iron Man, by the way. I'm just throwing that out there. But, again, that's to be expected, I guess. But I love Iron Man. Oh, fuck you. I have one of my 115 monocles on right now. Mick, fucking kill yourself. Yes! <laughs> Just say and silence. But, uh... Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, Mick, fucking kill yourself. <laughs> that actually works, sadly enough. Yeah, true. So, I have other things that I'm kind of getting through, but we're kind of, like, really blowing through stuff right now. Anything, or anybody have any things to talk about? Um, let's see, what else have... Alright, I'm just going to throw this one out there. Alright, so basically over the past, I'm going to say, like, two weeks, I've gotten some I incredibly bored with the current games that I play. Like, I, Darksiders, I like it. I haven't been able to really sit down and play it, because I, I, I haven't been able to enjoy it, really. I, I can't play Skyrim. I, can't, I don't have the attention to actually sit there and play it. And I'm just, I don't like any of the shooters I have right now. So I've been having this massive craving to go back and play some old school PS2 games. <laughs> so uh, the thing is, my PS2 is long gone, and all of my games are currently inaccessible to me due to unfortunate events with my family. So what is my option? I have to ask my friends to borrow some my, their PS, his PS2. I get his PS2 and controller and a memory card. So then, my other friend, Brett here, he gives me his uh, Dot .hack games. But he only has games 1 and 3. So, I'm stuck here. I Basically, I'm almost cleared to the first game now. And I'm stuck here trying to find game 2. So I, I, I figure, you know what, alright, I can't find game 2 from a friend, so I might as well just buy it. So I go on eBay and Amazon, and you know, this is a game from 2007. Guess how much people are charging for this game? I'd say over $100. On eBay? Like, these games are still going for 60 bucks, 50 bucks, And, I mean, the older games from the 90s, like Infection, Mutation, Outbreak, and Quarantine, the final game of the series, Quarantine, which is from maybe 2001, maybe 2000, is going for 150 on eBay. Actually, I was looking when... uh. I'll get into Nintendo's bomb drop, but Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo <laughs> announced that they're oh, Viking. Yeah, we have Viking. Nintendo. Nintendo announced that they're making a HD re-release. Re oh, Wind Waker. Wind Waker. Wind Waker. And the new HD Zelda, yeah. And uh, someone was talking about Wind Waker currently on Amazon right now. New, 130. Yep. Yeah. My, my my buddy Brett here says he hated Wind Waker, so I never played it myself. I loved it. It's very different. But Don't you love it? Too much open ocean. ocean. Graf I mean, graphically wise, I oh, mean, cell shading, like, people were against it at first. And yeah. Then, actually, if I, if I could equate it to things, it'd be equating it to the whole Devil May Cry out thing. It was like people, fans reacted negatively to the new look and then... Well, no, 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 no. It, rightfully so. The, the first outfit that you see of Dante in the first trailers of DMC were hideous. God fucking awful. They changed his appearance a few times throughout the development, and the end result they've got right now is actually pretty fucking good. Yeah, but I mean, just, I'm saying it's, it's a similar thing, though, where it's like, I mean, being a Zelda fan, too, just, I was looking at him like, what are they doing? Like, I mean, it's down the way. You, you'll see it. There's a point where you can climb up the end, like, right there. But uh, to me, that the thing is, too, if they are actually truly remaking it... BG, did you play through the entirety of Wind Waker? Wind Waker? Nope. My brother did. Why? Okay, just because there's a section which I know a lot of people hate of the Wind Waker is collecting the Triforce pieces. Collecting the Triforce pieces? Damn, was that a pain in the ass in Wind Waker? My brother's rolling his eyes and cursing, so I'm, I'm guessing it was a pain in the ass. Yes, because originally there was supposed to be two more dungeons in the game where you find the Triforce pieces. Yeah. 
they could not get them into the game in time, so instead you My had brother to... explained it to me, Mike. I, I got it. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, you have to literally, like, scour the earth for a golden pillar. Fuck that. Yeah. Hold on. Like, I'll, I, I need to explain just so people can hear besides yeah. you. You so. need to <laughs> down light beams. Fuck life. Well, no, so you had to find these charts Bitch, scattered around thing. the ocean that were in ancient Hylian, so, you know, Link of that timeline could not read them. So you had to go to Tingle, pay a ridiculous amount of rupees in order to get him to translate all of them. Rupees? And then rupees, you know, rupees. currency. It's rupees. Not rupees. No, it's rupees. It's not rupees, is it? It's rupees. Yeah, it is. It's really rupees? I thought it was rubies. No. I don't know if Slowpoke is slow enough for you right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, you're talking to the Zelda nerd here. Believe me, it's rupees. No, there's nothing. He gets to a B. Right? No, me and Brett think it's rubies. It's rubies. No, it's rubies. I'm not arguing with Mike, because Mike is like Zelda, like, he bleeds. Where did you get B in R-U-P-E-E? Rubies, isn't it? No! Really? So, so I mean, the, what's his name decided to make? You know, oh, look, you go around collecting these things look like rubies. Oh, fuck that shit. Let's make it rubies. Just make it creative. All right, that makes fucking. Interesting. Well, that's because that's because rubies are trademark. Oh, I Jesus googled, God! I googled R U P E and then I got that in Google. Really? Yes. All right, I guess. It's wrong. All right. So, anyways, you had to pay a ridiculous amount of rupees I to get these Jews. translated to find out where these golden this pillars thing. of light would be, and then you had to sail out into the ocean where these things were, and then use your you know fish them out of the sea. Hmm? You had to do this for seven of them. Originally, there's supposed to be two extra dungeons in Wind Waker for you to do this. If they're truly remaking this game, I hope. Because they said they're going to add stuff to the game. If they add the two dungeons that were left out originally, Happy Camper. Of course you'll be a Happy Camper. You, you, Mike, who are you kidding, first of all? You're going to be Happy Camper no matter what they do. They could they could literally slap a horrible skin texture on it, and you'd be happy. And, uh, like, I don't like just me remaking a game for the sake of remaking it. Like... I agree. The HD recollections and stuff like that, just slapping high texture graphics on it. I, no, I, I mean, I kind of like that for DMC, Zone of the Enders, Metal Gear Solid. They were actually genuinely good HD remakes. But I'd rather justify a purchase with having more content, you know? Yeah, I hear you. If, say, like, you bought... But, I mean, but I, mean I, I, guess, I guess, you know, looking at it from another perspective, I mean, like, the people who made these games are, like, long, long since split apart. So, I mean, it's kind of hard to justify tarnishing their creation with something of yours to make it better as according to nobody. That's the beautiful thing about Nintendo, though, is most of the people are still there. <laughs> it's, it's Nintendo. Everybody who makes Nintendo games is owned by Nintendo because it's just Nintendo. People actually... A lot of, I'm, what I'm reading now is since, since THQ has been dissolved and all their shit is being bought up by other companies, people are saying that, that Nintendo should actually purchase a lot of these rights to some of these games... And so they have some third-party titles that aren't, you know, just Nintendo to give some some diversity. That would Nintendo. be a smart move. That would be a very smart move. But they get third-party titles anyway. I mean, but when it comes to this, like, they, they could acquire Darksiders, for instance. They could acquire... Um, yeah, anything from THQ, like Metro or anything. You don't, you don't think the next Darksiders is going to be on the Wii? On the Wii U? It is Dark Siders 2 is on the Wii U. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they are, they're already getting third-party content. Well, no, it's like it's more or less in, not just third-party titles, but third-party exclusive oh. titles, like Bayonetta. It's like, <laughs> them, it's like them owning it. It's not like it's not them getting it from somebody else. It's, the, it's their teams that, are basically, that were third-party teams, but that are not now owned by Nintendo. Why would they make it exclusive? To make you buy the system. To make you buy their sh- make you buy their shit, bring them out of their whole uh, set. Okay, THQ games, while good and bad, whatever, uh, they're not going to make, they're not console sellers. They're not. Metro, that's not a console seller. We're not saying, was, I mean, we're not exactly saying that, however. You oh, no, no. I would definitely saying. bring revenue to the system. No, I, I, I know what you're saying, but even if they get, like, let's say... 500 to 1,000 more sales in the U.S. from the Wii U, as opposed to just give uh, having them on the other systems and getting the revenue from that. I don't, I don't see why you would make it exclusive. Well, thing people who are, I mean, just any, I mean, this is this goes for 
That's hard. Any uh, it, game, he always hits the good stuff. Game or uh, any you know IP, good or bad, whatever, fan, like you know popular or not. They're different. You have an ex- you have an exclusive be on your system. The thing with multi-platform is, oh, yeah, you part. know, Mass Effect 3 came out for the Wii U. Darksiders 2 came out for the Wii U. Uh, Assassin's Creed 3 came out for the Wii U. Most of those games, the new one. people are, they already have an Xbox. They're going to buy yeah, them for, those games for Xbox. You have those games, I mean, th- this is me, you know, being completely hypothetical. Say you had a game like Grand Theft Auto 5 exclusively on the Wii <laughs> Yeah, see, that's different. That's a console. I'd kill myself. I'm start building up the new one. That is I'd kill myself if that was on the Wii only. No. So start leveling up that other thing right now. Well, I mean, just in general, though, there's Wait, still fans, you, big or before... small, there are still fans of a series that are going to buy your system in order to play your game. Yeah, but it's a small amount. I mean, I'm part of that group. Stop it. So Wait. you would buy you would buy a Wii U for THQ games. No, I'm saying if there's a game that I want and it's only on a certain system, I will buy that system to play that game. DA is not buying a Wii U for Bayonetta 2. <laughs> I would hope not, because Bayonetta is an awful game. He, he is, he, he, guys, Bayonetta the only reason why white people should not have money. Basically, Bayonetta is basically the female Dante. Yeah, it's a horrible, horrible game. DA is probably the biggest fan of Bayonetta I have ever seen. And I, don't, I never said why. Bayonetta has, is just such an this, awful that's game. Not point, that's not the point right now. It's DA, an awful game. That's not the point right now. DA is probably the biggest fan of Bayonetta I've ever seen. And Mike, you have seen him at a con just see a Bayonetta cosplayer. So you know how big of a fan he is. <laughs> he is not. He is not <laughs> going. <laughs> He is not going out and getting this console for this game that he loves. He lo- he likes so few games, so and Bayonetta is one of them. And he is not willing to purchase this console for Bayonetta. Uh, he's not exactly a gamer. Yeah, but he he just bought a Wii for Wii games. Wait, what? He bought he bought a Wii specifically for games he likes on the Wii. Bayonetta is probably one of his top three games in the past like five years. Definitely. He's not buying a Wii U for it though. He, it, even if even if it came bundled with like uh, Super Smash Bros or something, he's probably still not gonna buy it. Just for Bayonetta, and he is a huge fan. So these small Metro was not a big game. Saints no, Metro Row, wasn't a big game. No, Saints Row is not a big game. It's it's okay, but it's not a big game. All WWE, all these, all they these. Lost couple, that. Oh, yeah, that's right, they bought it back, whatever. All these titles that THQ had and was developing and all this, uh, they're not really console sellers. So people are just going to get pissed that they can't play it as opposed to going out and oh, purchasing a $200 on somebody. Oh, it just, is DA there? Yes, clearly. All right, so just make, I'll, I'll fill, fill, fill this out there. It turns out a friend of mine is somehow related to Tara Strong. So? <laughs> I, I just want to throw that out there to you. And he starts jizzing profusely outside of his camera. Oh, man. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just thought you'd find that interesting. I, I actually do quite a lot. Does, does he have any contact with her or what, anything? Yeah, apparently it's like a... It's like a, like a, like a, like a, like a cousin... Does he know where like, she lives? Like a, like a cousin of... Something. I, I forgot the exact relation, but it's apparently they, they apparently they get together for family for family shits a couple times a year. This is my friend King. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Who are you oh, kidding? Who are you, we we all know how that would go. It's um can't me can't um da uh, can't um uh, to the right. arts. <laughs> I was better the second time I got an autograph for her, from her. No, dude. You, I've never, I've never even heard of somebody actually completely freaking the fuck out meeting Justin somebody. Justin Bieber fans, but those Just are little look, girls. Those are females, my friend. Mean it does. Women are weird like that. Go look at a mid twenties woman see a concert by Drake or Nicki Minaj. Again, so, again, Drake. you're talking about women, bro. Women are weird like that. I'm talking about a guy. Then I'm, but. But she's been my favorite voice actress since I was, like, 11. Dudes will camp out for seven days for Call of Duty. 
Uh, True enough. Okay. People are weird. Don't just limit it to women. Everybody is weird in some way. Well, I mean, DA is the weirdest, but... No, I'm not. No, I'm not. (laughs) You are the weirdest. I'm not not even going to ask that. (laughs) I'm not going to open that window. Uh, But, I mean, like... I, I, I guess I don't know anybody besides DA who does that shit. I've seen it. I've she, never seen her before. Since I was like eleven, come on! And now it's like seen, she's right here. At the other I, conventions I've been to, I've seen reactions like that and stuff. Yeah, it's not exactly. it's not uncommon. Just, uh, yep. man, uh, I mean, I, I guess I guess it means that I don't see big. like people like that, or, like as like celebrities, as like anything different than people. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's a person-to-person basis. I'm kind of the same way. Uh, I, no, I mean, but I mean, like, DA literally, like, completely had a meltdown in front of Tara Strong, this voice actress from My Little Pony. Complete, Not from My Little com- Pony. She's from complete Pony. meltdown. Like, he stuttered, didn't know what the fuck to say, completely acted like a Riri. He, I think at one point he drooled. I'm not sure. No, I did. No, I did. <laughs> So, I mean, I, I, I've never heard of anybody doing that before. I, I mean, not that I know of any, not, not people I know. I've seen it. I haven't. I just, I haven't. So, it's, it's like been like the thing that's always been like, what? What? To me. It's like, how, why? Well, what? You, why? You just, don't, you just don't have anybody you like enough for it, then. I mean, I, it's, not, it's not that there's nobody I, I like enough. Like, one of my favorite voice actors is, is like the guy who did Haseo, Yuri Lowenthal. And again, he also did he also did his role for Gios, and I was just like, I'd like to meet him and just talk to him. Hey, that's that's a, that's a different thing. I like to meet him. That I, that guy, I would like to take him out for a beer, as opposed to I will go to this con that I wouldn't otherwise just for this one person. But they, I, I don't. But you wouldn't though? I don't think like that. No, I would never do that. I would never. No, I would never go out of my way to actually meet somebody like that. Oh, you're a celebrity. You're gonna be here. Uh, I don't really don't care. I don't. I don't care. There's exactly. No, there is it, nobody who I who who I would do that for. Oh. That's what I just said. There's nobody like that for you. What? But there's, there's people like that for You're other people. people. Justice Hale, Sasuke. I'm sure if and, Mike met somebody from Great Dream Theater, he'd be all shaky. No, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Mike's reaction to meeting somebody from Dream Theater would be to sit, to sit there like, could I, could I play with you guys? Could I could I just play with you guys? No, uh, I, I would I would not say that just because. They would just start going like, I'm just, I'd, like I'd start, I'd be about to drum, and they'd do that, and just, I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I suck. <laughs> no, oh, speaking of Dream Theater, um, I was actually went to my friend's show at this bar recently. Oh, you were telling me about that. Yeah, first Thanks. time I actually went to one of his shows, and they actually got called for like three, four different encores. The people at the bar loved these guys, man. And no joke, they were pretty fucking intense. I, I, I've never been to like a live rock show really. Besides, the only, the only the only actually thing I've gone to before that was Green Day, and it's not that, that intense. These guys, Green got, Day, intense. Exactly, that's adorable. Exactly. So, like these guys, my my, my buddy's band was just, they were literally fucking intense, and like the people at this bar are usually like the, like the mosh people, like they're the fucking really like they. I walk, oh, yeah, I, yeah. for instance, I walked into this bar and they had Metallica's One playing on the jukebox. I, I mean, I've been to those kind of shows. I understand. Yeah, so and, and they fucking rocked it pretty fucking hard, and so they, they had a few instrumentals, they had a few kind of lighter songs. Like they even came out, they had, like they even said like, okay, this is this is our one emo song. So just and e- even the, 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 the these like really big metalheads even loved that song. So I was just like, oh, this is pretty fucking cool. And then they literally they got paid extra to play an extra fucking song. The the the, the bar person actually came up to them and said, listen, I'll pay you a little bit more. I'll play another song. So it was pretty impressive. Wait, wait, what are their names? Harmonic Dissonance. Yeah, you might as well just plug them. Yeah, I was going to before I was done, but, you know. So basically, like, um, they did this cover, cover of Dream Theater's... Oh, Forsaken. Uh, Forsaken. There you go. I'm glad you said it. And it was honestly one of the best Dream Theater covers I've heard. And uh, also, they also did a cover of um, Phil Collins' uh, What's It Called? Land of Confusion, which is one of my favorite songs of all time, and I don't say this lightly. It really was one of the best covers I've ever I've ever heard of that song, especially. Better than Disturbs. I, I'm gonna say yes, actually. <laughs> You're dead to me. You never heard these guys. Like they're act- This this cover of Land of Confusion was literally fucking amazing. 
I was very happy to be there for. Man, I, I mean, I, I haven't been to a show in a while. Like, the last really, like, show, I guess, similar to that is, like, when I was back in high school and, like, one of my uh, best friends was in a band. And it's like, I mean, those kind of shows, just, like, local bands playing, they're fun. They're really fun. Yeah, it was, it was pretty I cool to fucking to sit there and chill out and watch them fucking play. It was pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna post the link on fa- their their Facebook Facebook link to you guys real quick so you guys can check. The them last on. concert I went to was ACDC back when I was like 15. There you go. That's the link on their Facebook. Oh, you're so Canadian, John. He really is very Canadian. I love ACDC. I also went to go see Aerosmith. I was raised on classic rock. I didn't get into. Screamo uh, and shit. To really like adopted the metal. I was born in it. Raised hey, don't, it. Don't, don't, don't quote that movie. <laughs> <laughs> also, I since we're... I for the progression until I was already a man. Since we're shooting the shit, <laughs> for any people who watch this lovely educational hour and such and such that we record every now and then when we can all get together and DA can leave the schoolyard for five minutes. The podcast rises, Way of the Pride. (laughs) (laughs) I, for those of you who also... We started doing podcasts. (laughs) For those who also... (laughs) Who play... For those who played Team Fortress 2 and are in on the tournament scene, I am in one of these tournaments, one that's called Ready, Steady, Pan. It's a tournament where all you use is a frying pan melee weapon and you kill each other mercilessly. The town is yours! You are these offline Shut or... the fuck up! Stop <laughs> ruining the moment! Are these I'm offline kick you in your two asses. I'm gonna kick you in your two asses, goddammit. Are these offline or online? Oh, they're online. Ready, okay. steady, pan. Season two. I'm on a team with a bunch of other dudes. So the team captain knows me, and he asked me if I want to join, because I love running scout, and I love being a little fucker with a frying pan. You can try. But it would be bad. Also, uh, in other news... For you. For... <laughs> also, in other news... For... <laughs> <laughs> if you actually plays the fucking game. Um, Valve has released Team Fortress 2 action figures with the Demo Man and the Pyro. Google them, they're due out in April, but you can pre-order them starting now. I know there's a Bane quote that I could use right now, but I just, I can't think of it. How much are they? Well, I mean, you can't already uh, use the one, like, take the action figures. Ironically, um, the blue pyro and the blue demo are only $21, but the red pyro and the red demo man are $24. Red paint must cost more, apparently. Well, the red team is considered by, I think by Valve, the better team, because everyone in their Meet the Class trailers, the red team always okay. wins. Okay. But I'm definitely going to buy the red pyro. But uh, anyway, actually, I alluded to this earlier, so <sighs> the discussion of random games and stuff like that. So me being Mr. Nintendo fanboy, was it yesterday or two days ago? Two, for what, the announcement? Yeah, the two know, days ago. Yeah, two days ago. So I just get up, you know, get up, put the dog out, look on Twitter. Uh, and I see IGN just is like, Nintendo drops huge news. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, so they drop, what was it, yeah. New Zelda, New Mario, Smash, well, Smash Bros. Smash Bros. Shin Megami Tensei. Oh, you're right. X Smash Fire. Bros. I forgot they're coming up with the new Smash Brothers now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what the heck is yeah. that? <laughs> Shin Megami Tensei, I know, is a JRPG. Shin Megami Tensei, isn't that, isn't that Persona? Yeah, it's Persona. Yeah, yeah but it's Shin Megami Tensei X... Um, Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem. Yeah, it's Persona Persona X Fire Emblem, basically. And that day, a thousand nerds jizz the fountain of jizz so great that Shin Shigeru Miyamoto said, oh, shito. Shin Megami is more than just Persona. It, There's it, Devil it, Summoner and all, uh, all types of crap. So it might oh, yeah. be all that fused into one, dude. Might be a fighting game. It's going to be a tactical RPG. Probably. Oh, yay, the Super Robot Wars on Nintendo. But uh, <laughs> there's that. There is a game that has just been titled X, which is like, it's essentially, from what I saw, it was like Xenoblade mixed oh, with yeah, Monster Hunter. Oh, yeah, from the Xenoblade. People. It's like Xenoblade mixed with Monster Hunter. And it's just like, you know, he's like, oh, I'm to fight these monsters, and then get in this giant mech and fight bigger monsters. So it's just like, that actually looks kind of cool. I heard mech. <laughs> I heard mech in that sentence. That made me happy. Yep. And then, uh... First, first person shooter. Oh, no. HD remake of Wind Waker. 
updates to the OS, which is needed badly for the Wii U. Um, creating your own like communities and stuff like that for their this like more or less like their back end social network stuff. And uh, there's something else that I can't remember right now. Yeah. How Riddle, everybody can't a new Mario. Uh, well, yeah, I said Mar- I said Mario. I think they, they said Mario. That we said new Smash Brothers. Zelda. They alluded, they, two Zeldas. They alluded to retro making a game, but they weren't going to announce it till E3. Yeah, new HD Zelda. Don't Let's forget, see. there's also that new shitty 3D Pokemon game coming. Wind out Waker, Wars. Smash Brothers, 3D Mario, and Mario Kart. Yeah, Mario Kart. That was the other one. Fire Emblem X Shin Megami Tensei. X. Uh, new RPG from Xenoblade Chronicles Studio. X. That's the X. That's yeah. Funny. Virtual uh, the the virtual consoles coming to Wii U. Oh, I've been actually. There's a lot of people that have been like been getting bitchy about Wii that. U Party, Yoshi's Land. Oh, you, that was the big one too. It was like yeah, Yoshi's uh, Land where he looks like he's made out of fucking denim or something. Right? Yarn, well, yeah. Uh, yarn, it, it's, it's like a, little Kirby. big planet for Yoshi. Well, that's, oh, so it's called no, so it's called copyright infringement. The game. <laughs> no, it's, it's Why are they getting? The same, it's made by the same studio who did Kirby's Epic Yarn. Oh, so that means you can't die, and no child will ever learn the loveliness of failure. Oh, yeah. right. we, just what, we just get talked over. Why are we over, even here? I was saying, why are they getting mad about the virtual console? Because, okay, so this is what happened. <laughs> Does so, all the time. Essentially, I mean, virtual console, they're, I mean, they're bringing <laughs> it back like they had for the original Wii. Buy games, <laughs> with certain key points, whatever. The, pe- the thing, the, what people are getting bitchy about is, uh... <laughs> If you had already bought in games on your Wii and want them ported over to the Wii U, and pretty much essentially, well, it's, I forget, there's a price, you know, breakdown depending on what system. <laughs> essentially, you pay a dollar. That dollar is essentially extra content. He is, so he's got his, like, hooks on him. It's like you, for, like, extra Hold on, Mike, games. hold on, hold on. Ralph! Oi. If you're talking to other people, mute your mic, because you're talking over long. And uh, it's cutting out. I apologize. Okay, continue. But anyways, for pretty much when you port games from your Wii to your Wii U, you have to pay a dollar. That dollar is essentially what pe- people are getting pissed like, oh, I have to rebuy my game, blah, 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 blah. Why can't they just make it singular or whatever? The, d- the dollar is essentially extra content. DLC, I guess, if you could equate it to anything. Right, yeah, that makes sense. It's extra stuff on the gamepad and, like, other things that are added because of, you know, the new features of the touchpad controller. That if you sense. want to play your game for free, you just boot up the Wii OS on your Wii U, and you can access it there. Oh, okay. That's actually pretty fucking cool. And people are throwing a bitch fit because people they think they have to rebuy their game. It's they like, don't. Don't forget. Don't forget. You just These buy are it on the Wii U if you want extra shit. Loan, <laughs> and loan, it's a dollar. Loan, loan. These are gamers. These are the same ones that bitched because Sonic's eyes were green. <laughs> no, these are freaking the... Oh, that was say, like, Wait, are we talking about Sonic 06? Are we talking about Sonic 06? I don't remember. I know uh, that there was one no, Sonic, Sonic game. Sonic eyes turned green when the first Sonic game. All on right. Sonic. Also, speaking of games, also, I recently purchased a game. I purchased 007 Legends for Xbox 360. Oh, you moron! <laughs> Instantaneous hatred. I like those games. I loved GoldenEye Reloaded, and I love this game. Reloaded was fine. This, Legends is this is this is basically the same fucking engine. Every every boss fight is a like uh it's like uh what yeah, are your thoughts? It's like the Wii boxing game. The Wii where boxing game. That yeah, was where it's first person perspective and you just lean to the left and lean to the right and throw. Yeah, a I know. I know. It's awful. I don't care about that. I'm not gonna let one mechanic ruin a game. The AI is retarded. Don't do that, Brett. Don't do that, Brett. He will. He will go. No, that's actually it. pretty smart. It. They've cut off He's my blind it. spot a couple of times. Mm. Although, I'll be honest, I don't really play console FPSs beyond Borderlands usually. So, and I've even stopped playing Borderlands myself too. I haven't played that at all recently. Oh, uh, you need to go get the Hammerlock DLC. Is it that good? I keep hearing Hammerlock is really good. Oh, is it? It really is that good. <laughs> Because like the, the, the yeah. Scarlet's DLC and uh, the other one, I just didn't like it. You didn't like Campaign of Carnage? I didn't really play that much of it. I, 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 I lo- loaded it up, 
looked at it. My friend said he played through like a few hours of it and didn't like it that much, and I just left it alone and went and did something else. Okay, well, Campaign of Carnage is technically tournament. It's technically kind of like Mad Moxie's Battle Dome. I, don't, I hated Battle Dome in the first but, game. But the I thing is like that what, 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 what fucking makes it is there is a small story and half the shit Mr. Torg screams. If you want to hear Hercule from Dragon Ball Z scream, this fight reminds me of my father. Alcoholism destroys families. Play that <laughs> fucking <laughs> thing. Uh, I, can, I can use sexual innuendos too. He pauses. Blow jobs! <laughs> All right. I mean, again, I, I guess but that's not really a reason to sit there and play through like hours of content. I mean, the content itself can't it's stand not, alone. It's not even that long. If you go in quest, two hours. And that's if you have a friend and you're both running Macromancers. Me and my buddy Mark ran it. Twin Macromancers. We yeah, but I don't run Macro. I, I have a Macro, but I don't run Macro. I run my assassin. Oh, dude, no, no, no. Macromancers, spec and death trap. Watch people die. Yeah, I know. If you if you spec death trap, everything fucking falls. It's just, I don't know. I'm not specking. I'm spec completely in death trap, and I'm level thirty five. Yeah, I know. I'm level like Brett. What what, what was? You remember what my macromancer was up to? I think I got to like thirty, and I stopped. Bro, you do not know how much fun it is when you get that and anarchy at full. When you get anarchy cranked up, and you just start running around with a shotgun, point blank killing people. You can spec an anarchy to have over 200 to 300 different specs. Yeah, I know how anarchy works. I know. It's just, I, I guess, uh, I don't know. I didn't really put that much effort into it. Cause I, it was cool, but, I mean, it, it's like it was too broken. That's the whole point. The Mecro is a fun class, and they are yeah, working I, on it. You know, you know, they are with, working with, on a sixth class right now. I usually play with it. My, my buddy Joe is the big anchor of the whole Borderlands thing. His thing was playing shit legit. Also, they are making the sixth class. They're working on it now. I know they're making a new class. I've heard about that. It's funny how they can keep making classes. Yet Valve can't get past nine! Mm. Anyways. Now that we have oh, that. Uh, I forgave you guys covered this, but did anyone here watch the VGAs when they happened back in yes. December? Yes. Did yes. anyone else here smile when Call of Duty didn't win fucking oh, anything? I, I had like the biggest grin on my face when Call of Duty lost everything. When Call of, you know, it's pretty sad when Call of Duty and Halo were in for shooter and multiplayer. Didn't win and, I forget, and I forget which one it was, but Call of Duty had one of those for five years running. And then Borderlands 2 comes in and goes, fuck your shit, you piece of crap, and kicks it black ass on the fucking curb. Yeah. Wasn't there a, uh, I'm not sure if it was during the VGAs or something else, there was a trailer that was shown either, either there or recently that it seemed like it was going to a another Metal Gear game, Metal Gear yeah, Solid. That was game. The, the Phantom Pain, yeah. That trailer when I saw that bugged me the hell out. And the uh, yeah, studio that made it is Moby Dick Studios. Yeah, Moby and, Dick. And like its lead developer, the name is an anagram for Kojima. Yep. Apparently. Yes it is. And then uh wait, wait, actually not too. You've probably watched that podcast, didn't you? I'm quoting kind of off the Rooster Teeth podcast right now, just because where I heard it. But, uh, but yeah, it's just like a lot of stuff where it's just like, it's probably just, you know, Kojima Productions, but they're not saying it is. Yeah. Being secretive. That's a fucking award show. That made me smile so much. Yeah, when, when Call of Duty Halo lost everything, it made me really happy. Cause no, 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 no. Halo won a few things, but Call of Duty won nothing. This is finally definitive proof. The Call of Duty is clear, cut, and paste. Every game's the same. And when it happened, the Call of Duty fags got mad. There was so much shit-slinging on the fucking Spike TV website at Gearbox and Borderlands for them beating Call of Duty. But meanwhile, Call of Duty hasn't been original or fun since 4. To me, Call of Duty isn't original or fun at all. It's the same damn game you're fucking overtime. You run around in a brown and gray area and you kill people that either don't speak the same language as you, aren't the same color as you, or is in TF2 speak, doesn't have the have same kind of hat you do. <laughs> I'm sorry, I loved the shit out of Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. That was the last Call of Duty game I ever had fun with. Wasn't that the game where you got to go shoot up an airport? Uh, that no, that was Modern Warfare 2. But, oh, uh, that was fun. Have you guys seen the picture? I've seen it circulating on Facebook and stuff like that. But uh, it's Voss from Far Cry 3. He's like, do you want to know the definition of insanity? Insanity is doing the same fucking thing over and over and over again. Yep. And below it, it shows 
Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, Black Ops 2. <laughs> nothing beats the uh, n- nothing beats the re-edit of Black Ops 2's case. Prepubescent cut cussing simulator 2. Yep. Yeah. It's See, like awful. Black Ops 2 was just honestly fucking awful. In my in, in my opinion, all the Call of Duty games are they're the same fucking game over and over again. Battlefield. Eh, it, to me, it's the same fucking shit. Different Battlefield rap- is nothing like Call of Duty. I'm sorry. It, it, I can actually agree with Ralph on that. It's not. Battlefield, you have to think a lot about the class you make. You have to think a lot about how you play the map. You have to think a lot about how you're going to act in certain situations. You yeah, can't I just see it the same the just because, because I don't like military shooters. I prefer shooters that have more variety. That's why I love shit by Valve. TF2, Left 4 Dead 2, Half-Life oh, 2. Don't get me wrong. I love myself some Left 4 Dead 2 as well. I love, I love my Left 4 Dead anything. But I just, I couldn't, I left, uh, Team Fortress, I, I could never get to Team Fortress. I, I keep trying, but I just can't. That's the, thing with Battle, like, game for me. the big thing, the difference between Battlefield and Call of Duty is just, like, since the maps in Battlefield are just, like, enormous oh, in comparison to COD, like, there's actual, you know, strategy and communication that's actually necessary to, like, yeah. play the levels. Okay, And, like, okay, in I'll... COD, like, in, in COD, it's just straight up, it's like, I'm going to shoot you. That's pretty much all you do in that game. However, you can play Battlefield entirely, like, as a medic. You don't shoot anybody. You just, like, follow a group, they go down, you just keep reviving them. That can yeah. be all you do in the game. Okay. Which I'll I find... Admit, there was one cool thing about Battlefield. There's a video on YouTube where guy takes a jet, he flies straight up in the air. And he ejects himself out, pulls oh, out a rocket launcher, yeah. shoots an enemy jet, jumps back in, and starts playing the fucking A-Team music. Yep, I, <laughs> That's the only thing I want to do. That, or you see, if you give me a game where you give me free vehicles to use and friendly fire, you're going to see me get banned from a lot of servers. But actually, I have that, fun that, that argument you brought up, though, about the games you know, being the same, that is the one argument I get so pissed about when people say that about Nintendo. Yeah. <laughs> So. That, that, that's kind of retarded. Like, I can understand saying about Call of Duty, which I love, that whenever I say it to my friends, oh, Call of Duty, same shit, I get back. Yeah, it's because you're not good at it. <laughs> but anyways, just like, people don't, like, especially like, I mean, a lot of the COD gamers, let's be honest, are like younger gamers that, you know, probably just missed like the N64 era and stuff like that. Yeah, because we all know Call of Duty kids are all fucking they didn't. Old. They don't realize how much these older series have revolutionized and continue to revolutionize the gaming. Yeah, it's the look, truth. Look what fucking Mario 64 did. Look what fucking Goldeneye did. Goldeneye, Goldeneye. revolutionized... Goldeneye has- revolutionized shooters up until Gears of War 3 came out. When Gears of War 3 came out, it changed shooters forever. Yeah, third-person shooters in all technicalities. Yeah. Goldeneye was the one for FPS. Goldeneye, the world's not enough. Perfect Dark... Perfect Dark was good. Perfect Dark Zero was god awful. Just, just I have it. Perfect Dark, um, the original one for X for N64. I got it on the Xbox arcades yeah. on my 360s arcades. Not even compare. I thought it was something completely different. Wait, but what? like, but yeah, like um, it, the N64 it it pioneered so much. Like fucking Mario, Mario 64 pioneered a lot of third person adventure platformers. <laughs> Sonic. Sonic. What about Sonic? That's where they got it from. True. Probably it's just probably also where it's probably also what fucking Jack and Daxter did. Jack and Daxter was originally that kind of game. Yeah. Around it's one of those shit. things where like granted, like some people did it first, but Nintendo did, did things best. right first, I guess so to speak. Yeah, like, like Mario look at, that, look at shit like fucking Superman sixty four Yeah, or, like Mario the floating camera, like and like being able to change it was good. Just think about it. Uh, Ocarina uh, of Time. Oh, no, Ocarina of Time. That was the first game with a targeting system. Oh, yeah, Ocarina of Time was the first with a targeting system. You're right. Yeah. I forgot that what fact. About, what about fucking Donkey Kong 64, the first game where you could change characters with different abilities? Oh, yeah. It's true, too. I mean, there's like a lot of different stuff. What did Banjo-Kazooie do, except for make you learn that collecting puzzle pieces is tedious and fuck, but so fun? <laughs> I actually went back and replayed Kazooie and Tui. God. Tui, like, oh, Tui was annoying. Just like, because okay, you can't... You know, now you're making me want to get them. I'm going to have to go out and fucking buy $40 of the Microsoft points and go download both games on my 360. I, I mean, honestly, right now, since there's really nothing that great coming out, it's a good time to go. There's nothing good coming out. For how long? 
I mean, the, 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 only game that, the only game that's on my horizon right it's now is Space 3. It's the only one. I is, might get Cry 3. I mean, honestly, name me a lot. Name me some fun games coming out within the next four months. That's Space The Last of Us! Uh-oh. All right, I've heard two games. The Last of Us! Uh, I've heard one game, because Dead Space is awful. The last... Oh, you're, you're still... Oh, you're counting The Last of Us. Tomb Raider? Nah, I'm not interested in that at all. It's interesting, but Tomb Raider has never drawn me in. I've never played a single one. This I, never a... Like, I never liked polygonal tits. I don't like gaming tits. I prefer a game that has, that's fucking FPS. I hate their first and shooters, except for GTA Five. I don't play GTA Five. Right, so, so far, from my, from, my own, from my own list, I've heard one game. South Park? No, again, yes. no. Stick a truth. I fucking can't it? wait. Bioshock Infinite, again, no, really. I mean, I'm not really liking the Infinite's looking. Okay, I might go for Bioshock Infinite if I can get Bioshock 2, but I want to get South Park. I want to get GTA 5. I'd say you really I, wouldn't have to play Bio, Bioshock 2, in all honesty. I don't think it's going to be affecting Infinite at all. It, and it'll, it, be, it, it'll, it'll, it'll be for fucking completion's sake. Like, I still own Borderlands 1 when I bought Borderlands 2. I want to have the second game so I at least have all three in the franchise. I can get the second just, it's just, it wasn't that great in comparison to Bioshock 1, I'm just telling you that now. I'm not even done Bioshock 1, I'm maybe a quarter through it. I stopped playing it. But, uh... I mean, to get back to, like, for, for someone like me at least, like, the, the type of games I really like to play are games like uh, Darksiders 2. Um, I, I do like the game, I just, I can't really bring myself to actually sit down and play. Sit down and play. I also like games like, uh, oh dear god, Skyrim's another one. Just, just games I can sit back and enjoy by myself. So like, well, I named like four games you could do that for. But the thing is, I named one GTA Five. Oh, never again talking about GTA. That game is. Oh pathetic. come on! About, they're going back, motherfucker! They're going back to San Andreas. Come on! I what have about, hated every Grand Theft Auto game ever made. What about Remember Me? Remember Me? Yeah. It looked interesting, but I mean, from what I'm seeing, again, nothing's pulling me in. Hmm. That's just yeah, it is. I'm very picky with my games, but that's the thing. It's like that's why I'm sitting. But I'm, but I'm sitting back and I'm playing Dot Hack again, and I'm rem- I'm sitting back and enjoying it just as that's much as fair. I did that's, seven that's years ago. That's an RPG. That's not fair. Same, yeah, like same as Kingdom Hearts or anything else. It's like RPG, not fair. Like not not like it, it's so funny. You say you want a game where you can sit back and enjoy it on your own, and Grand Theft Auto is the most fun you can have on your no, own. No, there is no fun in Grand Theft Auto. I'm sorry. Uh, hey. let me ask what? a question. Does anybody play besides Mike and Zelda games? Does anybody play older games that aren't RPGs? Uh, yeah, I play fucking. I have Wolfenstein like I said, I went black and Banjo. I've got Wolfenstein yeah, yeah. 3D on Steam. I've got San Andreas on my Xbox. I've got Perfect Dark on my Xbox. I'm going to get Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie when I get Microsoft points because they're 1200 apiece. Okay, pro. Uh, old school games that aren't RPGs. Uh, Budokai Tenkaichi. I still play that. Okay, you can get that. Uh, well, how, oh, 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 Tenkaichi, yeah, try going Tenkaichi 3, 2 and 1, we're shit compared to it. Yeah. Especially considering it Metal Gear Solid, three. Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid 3. Mm-hmm. Um, let me see, what else, what else? Uh, what is it, with all Devil May Cry, thank well, you. The uh, MP3. Me, uh, how many more RPGs do you play, or do you want to play, as opposed to these types of games? Well, I mean, like, the, like right now, like, my main game... The only game I'm really interested in right now is DMC. I'm interested in Elder Scrolls Online, but again, that's not even playing by myself. That's that's an online MMO. Like that's the, really, really that's like really the main game I'm interested in. That's, that's even that's not even coming up for another, another year. But that's, again, it's interesting me at the moment. Like there's just from what my problem right now is everything they're doing is basically a lot of rehashed shit. Like The Last of Us is a new type thing. But, I mean, it's the whole zombie thing that's got me fucking turned off on it. It's the same shit we've been doing now for a while. You're not going to get many new IPs. It's all going to be basically the same. I know, but that's, throw- that, that's the problem, gonna, though. That's what I don't like. They're just going to throw new twists on It's been like that since the dawn of time. I don't know. I don't know. They're always just going to throw a new twist on it, and... Can you can you name me the last original thing that was out for games? Uh, 
die hack. It's an RPG. It's a regular. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. A nigga. I... A nigga. A nigga. Oh nigga. 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 What the fuck you been, nigga? Get your fucking shit fixed, nigga. You're fixed, nigga. Die, nigga. John, John. I'm not fixed. I'm on a cell phone. So I make no promises of this working completely. Okay. <laughs> You're on a cell phone? Actually, since he's here. Phone. All right. We will, Go ahead. Actually, I actually like where this discussion was going. We will save this for another episode. All right. It's interesting. But, uh, okay, so since you are here, Mr. Alix. We are, Alix. That's an interesting yeah. way to say Alex. That's I actually that is a nickname for one of my friends back in. Alex, I, I have a I have a I have a quick question. Why do you reblog so much porn on your Tumblr? Because I have a penis. So do I, but I'm not using it for that. Yeah, well then you're not using it right. <laughs> <laughs> not using it right. Well, so. Most fuck, I'll talking. tell you something after this is done. So yeah. We've just been talking about random different uh, games and stuff, and just a lot of different things. You're very quiet, Mike. Not for me. Ooh, my mic. Yes, sir. for me. Yeah. Anyways, so we've been talking about a lot of random things. So you, I think you are the only one here that has played DMC. It is awesome, with a few issues. Uh, it's so Virgil great. Being, <laughs> Virgil <laughs> being my main issue. Oh, what's wrong with Virgil? <laughs> He's awful. He, he's not very Virgil-ish. He's awesome. not going to make Virgil. any sense to you. Uh, first off, uh, Virgil uses guns now. That's the Virgil's thing. never – no, Virgil did use guns when he was younger. We do know that. When he was younger. Also, Virgil had honor and wouldn't shoot a pregnant lady in the in the stomach than the face. Yeah, this is so. – what, what, what version of Virgil, Virgil are you in- talking about? I'm talking about DMC Virgil. He's, D- he's, Devil Christ Virgil is a twisted bastard. He's a twisted bastard, but he always had that whole honor he thing. He killed about an entire wow. city to raise that tower. Uh, he killed the whole city. An that entire was a more city. Thing. Nah, it just didn't. It didn't fit. He killed an entire city. I don't care about and a him, whole city. And Tim Knight Shyamalan did fucking Avatar. There's travesties all over the world. Avatar was not that bad. Also, oh, Dante is kind of. Do not say the last Airbender was a good movie. I didn't say that. I said it wasn't that bad. We've had this discussion before. The last Airbender wasn't bad. We've had this discussion before. We're moving on. The last Airbender wasn't horrible. It was just a travesty in many ways. I still, exactly. I still think Dragon Ball Evolution could have been a lot worse. No, it, it could have. No, it physically could not. He, Dragon Ball Evolution could not have been any worse. He magnetically attracted to the, to the Kamehameha and flew up through it. How did that happen? Sometimes it's too easy to get shit sparked, isn't it? All right, so Alex, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting here just chilling out, just like fucking. All right, play, so right? let Alex talk about DMC. Yeah, Ask away, Mike. So I mean, like Virgil was a big thing. What else are you saying? Dante's kind of whiny at points. Like, that's why I heard he's kind of emo. Well, it's like a not emo. If you, but he's kind of like I've read the comics, so I can forgive a little bit of whininess. Because I mean, in the comics, they talk about him being when he was younger. He, I'm going to compare him to Sasuke. He was a little. He was kind of whiny after his mom died. Uh, oh no, 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 not, no, not like Dante that. He's more like different from the old Dante. He's, he's more like he's oh, human. I don't know who I am. Yeah, he's not human in this game. He is half dead. Yeah, I know he's half angel. I don't like that setup. Why the fuck's he half angel? He says we half human. He looks like a that fucking. Also, really they nasty. they took a lot of liberties with the story. They took a lot of liberties with the story. Like, uh, Mundus and Sparta are brothers now. That's a thing. Why are Mundus and Sparta brothers? That's not how. Because it's, it's a reimagining. Sparta's not dead. Uh, Dante's not mother dead actually now. seems to play a bigger role in the game than Sparta. So that's a thing. Sounds dumb. Yeah, this is why I'm thankful I'm not in the devil may cry and I'm not getting pissed like you it's fuckers are. Not bad. Like I don't. I'm not. Ma- no. 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 I'm not mad at the game. No, I not don't... you. I'm talking about Fat Boy White here in D A and B G. Apparently. Oh, I'm like, not I, mad about this. Huh? And DA didn't say anything. I just don't. I don't play the game. I just don't like when people bash a game that's a reimagining just because it's not the same thing or like, like related don't to it. It's like the game. And the final boss fight is probably now my favorite final boss fight in just Devil May Cry. It's Mundus. It's not. Just shut up and play the game. It's, just, it's like my favorite fight. The Mundus fight was actually kind of like, oh. All right, so Mundus wasn't the final boss. It's just kind of like, oh. All right. All right. 
that happened. I've got 110 in my wallet. I might buy it just to buy it. Yeah, I mean, worst case scenario, you can trade it back for uh, $25. Fuck GameStop. They're actually, <laughs> GameStop I, I, going, GameStop's going to be broke now. Oh, do you guys hear that? New systems, they, yeah. Uh, they announced the PS3, the PS4. So I'm going to be 26 years old playing Kingdom Hearts 3 more than likely now. Yes, yeah. we'll, be, we'll be 26 when KHB comes out. That's but, not going to be a fun experience <laughs> for me. But, anyway. but I don't know if anybody knows this, but Sony has basically come out and said they're implementing um, this disc recognition software with their game. So when you put a disc in, it's going to recognize that disc and its registration number or some shit. And that's you fine. can only cool. use that disc on that system from that point on. Um, that's what, that's what Xbox 720 is supposed to do. That's the, that's the new thing. They want to take money away from GameStop. So people no, buy no, 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 use game them. retailers in general. Yeah, that I mean. means also if you lose offender. your game. Like, the thing I saw with used games is if you lost your game or you want an older one, you go and buy it. Now they're going to make you pay the full retail price to replace it if someone stole it, if you yep. lost it, if this. If, you can't even lend your friends your games now. Nope, you can't. It's fast I don't like it either, but I mean, I understand it from a business standpoint. They're losing a lot of money by yeah, having like, GameStop also, around. If the games weren't so shit. The market grow, but I'm saying this someone... whole situation could have been avoided had like four years ago GameStop agreed in that court. And I think what's I think one of the one of them somebody took took them to court. I think it was Microsoft because they they just demand they just wanted a kickback of something from each game they sell, but that, that that's from them. Like it, not if, if, if it was a third party, whatever, but if it was a Microsoft-based game, they wanted a kickback from GameStop or whoever the fuck was selling it. GameStop, GameStop refused, and basically the courts agreed with this. But, I mean, had GameStop just agreed with that, the, these systems wouldn't be doing it. The fault really does lie on GameStop and, like, Maybe you know, game companies. If they you stop know, making the- Gears of War... Modern Halo Edition Elite 6 every six months, people yeah. want to buy more new games. I'm you know, just saying, I'm not going to keep buying FPSs. Games. Used games really help you buy the newer ones that come out. Like, let's say someone's never played fucking Borderlands ever. They see Borderlands 2 come out. They want to see how they like the Borderlands franchise. Used game store, 15, 20 bucks, Borderlands 1. Bing, bang, boom, you like it. Drop another 60 to 70. Borderlands 2. Oh, agreed. I wouldn't have bought Borderlands 2 had I not been able to go back and rebuy Borderlands 1 and play it. But what I'm saying is, it, it's it's basically, it's the retailer's fault. It's GameStop's fault, EB Games, or whatever. It's their fault for not kicking something back to the people who made the, made these games. Because they... Well, not, all the new game, game sales... Get... All the new game sales go to the people. They, they make, like, sense off of that. The only thing keeping those companies afloat are the used game sales. No. That's no, they make no, money. no. GameStop makes 100% profit on those used games. They make 100% profit. And they basically, don't forget, I work at GameStop. Let me put it like this. The games they sell you for the price they make you pay, when they take it in, they, they pay, for, I'm going to say, a brand new game you sell back. Assassin's Creed 3, you give, they give you 25 bucks. That game, that game is still only maybe a week old. It's still technically net worth at $60. They have... At that point, a forty dollar, you know, addition right there plus tax. They well, are making all the money. Yeah, card shops do that too. Back but when that's I, back the thing. Kids, that's the problem when it comes sh- to used gaming. Had they you simply anything, picked bro. back a small percentage, all Microsoft bro. was requesting was I think a five percent kick from the purchase of of used games, and they would have been happy. But because GameStop, honestly, that corporation is the most bloodthirsty, greedy, stone-sucking company I've ever seen. Bloodthirsty, greedy, stone-sucking, not Viacom. Apply yourself. <laughs> no, Viacom, that's, 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 that's copyright. That's understandable to a point. But when it comes to GameStop, they have no claim to these games whatsoever. They have no claim to them at all. But yet they want 100% profit off of games that are worth, that are worth more than they will sell back to you. And they will they will sell you back. Okay, for also can we go with this Skyrim. They will take it back for twenty dollars. They're selling it still for sixty. I don't think you even get twenty bucks for Skyrim right now. No, you do. Dude, nowadays you get, you get there's a 20. fucking there's a fucking game store town over where I used to do a lot of. My you're in Canada. Games. You're you're you mean nothing right now. No, like they'll buy like 
Unless it's a brand new Xbox 360 game, all 360 PS3 and Wii games are a buck each. You, they, they, they buy from you resell for 15 to 40. Yeah, exactly. This is just Canada. This is not the land of America where we fucking bleed everyone dry. Not to mention, also, there, there was a card shop in Ontario where I used to, we used to be able to sell Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You're a Yu-Gi-Oh I think at, card. I think at the high end, they were buying Chaos Emperor Dragon cards for like five bucks and reselling them for 65 Jesus. You're a Yu-Gi-Oh card. And that was back before Emperor Dragon got banned. And it was actually I'm going to get less. What BG? Uh, BG. Yeah, right. More right now. Hold up, hold up, hold up, guys. BG? Mm. I'm going to make two points really quick. Go. One, they cannot implement this system as much as they want. Because... Oh, that's cool. <laughs> it DA. Because uh, taking it to a, a friend's house on their PS4 or 720 or whatever, that's going to mess that up. So they can't quite implement it the way they want. Oh, uh, I you can't play the game on any of anyone, anyone, anyone else. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you but, want to take it over to your friend's house, that's gonna that's gonna impact that's gonna impact some people's decisions. If it's like I can't even take this over to my friend's house, let forget. Oh, that. cool! I have to carry my entire console. Sixteen. You'll, you'll have to take your memory unit. Like if you recover your gamer tag, maybe they'll work it based off. No, that's not even that. It's not, that's not even how they have it. It's, 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 it's system based. It's, so what if the console breaks down? What if your console just breaks? Then yeah. then all your games Dead, useless, entirely. You, you yeah, gotta go out and buy. They, they cannot implement this the way they want. There'll probably be some weird ass system about it, but I, you know, I don't if see. In all game... honesty, GameStop will probably sue or something, and then it'll just wash away. If, 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 no, they I'm can't sue for this. They so can't sue for this. GameStop has no claim. GameStop has literally no claim whatsoever. But uh, actually, it's, yeah, it has to be a, a people thing. People have to, who are actually going to pay for this have to, you know. Do something about this. No company's well, going to back right now, it. Right now, it hasn't come out. They've registered this yeah. technology. They've patented it. And they've the basically said to be in a new system. But they haven't come out and openly said they're implementing it into their system yet. But when they do, I think there's going to be a lot of public outrage. If they openly do that, fuck that. I'm just not going to play the next generation because I refuse to be that one console. I'll buy a PS3. I'll end it, I'll end it 360. I'll buy a Wii. Else. Fuck, I'm just going to give me a PC and I'll just play everything PC pirated. That's There we go. Dude, Problem no, solved. no, easier, easier. Steam, give money yep, to the good true. Memory. Steam. Steam give box. money to Valve. Give money to Valve. I will Val. give Valve all of my monies. But, but alright, BG, your other point. Hold on, guys, BG, your other point. <laughs> BG? What is BG. going on? Black man! Uh, second point. He responds to the black man. Remember this, proceed. I will. Sec- second point. Why would GameStop agree to this 5%? Stop! Ralph, stop! Because GameStop stop. Stop. everybody to wow. GameStop. Stop. I wasn't even going to re- reply. I was going to let you finish. This is usually where you would be like, because they're... No. Stop. <laughs> I'm waiting. You've got him paranoid, Ralph. This is fucking beautiful. You've got him fucking paranoid. No, no. you got four other people jumping in. Good job. I no, I genuinely want to hear where you're going with this. Because I disagree. Okay, all. so why would they pay, pay this 5% and not, like, pawn shops, people that flea markets, all of a sudden? GameStop is a building where you can take these games, but it's no different from going to a pawn shop or just selling it straight to your friend. All they right. make a lot of money off of it, and they can do it this way. But it's as a pawn shop. All right, I'm just yeah. I'm just going to say it like this: that changes when it comes to the video game industry, mainly because of the recognition of brands. It's so why don't with why don't games. why don't TVs and DVD players and Blu-ray player people do this? Because they're definitely not getting any money off this hardware from pawn shops. And pawn shops, I'm sure, make a lot more than. To be uh, honest, games. to be honest, I don't really pay attention to the video game, uh, video game, to the TV and radio industry. And oh, I, I don't. I don't. I'm just. But saying. that's the thing. When it comes to video games, it, the market is high, and the brand name recognition is everything. It's everything. Shit. This is running almost an hour and a half. So I know I'm, I'm, I'm once we're done with this, I'm gonna say one little story. And then... so basically, I mean, the, Microsoft, if if it's a Microsoft Studios game, has every single right to request 
a five percent kickback or, or or more or less. It's so why don't why doesn't Vizio have a five percent uh, state? Vizio hasn't requested. Stop, Ralph. Vizio hasn't requested a five percent kickback they don't. from use TV sales because you can't. It's, it's, still- it's not stupid. It makes perfect sense. So if Vizio, popcorn, if it's your property, if it's your intellectual property, you have every single legal right to request payment. I was preemptive on the stop, Ralph. Uh, but, you, but you're talking in nonsense. No, yeah. no, listen, listen, listen. If a person is selling something on eBay, a Vizio TV, Vizio is allowed to say no. You have to pay me money to sell this TV to this other person. Legally, yes. Why? You own the product. Doesn't, but it's still their le- It's still their property. It's still their brand. You own the product to do with what you wish. If you wish to sell it to somebody, then sell it to somebody. Yes. Why do you think Sony once, never did anything to the people that bought PS3s and the release date? Took them outside in the front of the here, crowd and smashed here's, them. Here's what I'm going for with this. If you want to sell it person to person... That's different from going through a third-party medium like GameStop. If you want to sell your property to a friend, okay. that's fine. Th- that's, so that's how is this different, different from something like Amazon? Because if GameStop stops, if the GameStop, they're going to do it through something like Amazon. But that, so how is that any different? There's no real that's third that's party that's making because, money off. Because it's a third-party medium, you're... No, it's not. The third party makes nothing it's Amazon, from it. but that doesn't... No, uh, again, again, if, okay, bingo, there we go. Amazon doesn't make anything off of this. So at that point, they have no, they have no claim to, to request anything because they're not making anything. Okay, so what? No, why? no if, Amazon, if Amazon wants to keep selling their things, they should be able to by full, in full right and not have to be charged for it because they're not charging anybody to do this stuff. They're not charging anybody to buy or sell. So I mean, at that point, they don't really have a legal ground to stand on to request, you know, money for any and or or anything at all. But when it comes to GameStop, who makes 100% profit off of used games, Microsoft has honestly every legal standpoint to sit there and say, "Listen, we want payment." So why doesn't somebody on the corner of like, what if somebody you've seen those newsstands that sell games? Um, what, if it, what if it's your own collection? And you literally just sell it to these people. You've got a huge collection of games that you just that you just want to get rid of, and you're making a ton of money off of it. Are they okay, allowed gonna... to five percent from that? That's a, you're talking about a person to person transaction here. I'm talking person to company to person. If it's a third party medium, the, that third party who's making 100 percent profit has no legal ground to stand on to say that they ha- they deserve technically. Well, the courts right. seem to think otherwise, so. Well, that's the thing, but I'm, it's it's it seems ridiculous to me. But and but now the thing is, now we're suffering for it because now they're going to go all through this and basically make it so that we can't, can't buy our games they used anymore. They can't do. They can't do that. That's just not going to work. It's not, not going to work. There's too many things with it. Damn, things gotta go out. Wait, hold on. What's yeah. The yeah, things gotta go out. Let them out. Okay, I'm just going to quickly say while I have a time to get to the game play. debate begins again, I need to go we'll do, do some fucking exercise and eat some What's goddamn dinner. So if this is over before I get back, it's I'll be in the next fucking right. podcast if I have the force these fuckers to let me in. Yeah, we're we're, we're pretty much done in here. Yeah, I, I just have a little story just in front of the top of me. Uh, yeah, my just right just first, first, everybody, everybody within the sound of my voice, Yeah, going by DMC. No, pre-order Injustice instead. Nope, 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 nope. Even better, go download Team Fortress 2. It's free. No, better, go buy an SNES and then play Mario. Anyways, Even better, go get an emulator and play Mario. BGDA. The big argument, essentially, that I hear you guys having is actually something that I went over in my computer's philosophy class. Is just, like, ownership of digital media. Yeah. Like, like there's like photo, like uh, Adobe, for example. Here's a great example. Adobe. When you buy Photoshop or something, in you know a regular person's mindset, you bought the product, so you now own the product. Yep. However, if you actually carefully read the terms of agreements, you don't. Adobe is just giving you, so to speak, a license to use the product. They That's still why you own it. The license. Yep. It's uh, pretty much. It's essentially how that is, it's like, 
for digital media, I can kind of see that, so to speak. Yeah. However, yeah. so like a physical copy of a game, though, I mean, <laughs> it's like I bought this game. I'm holding it in my hands. It's mine. The debate is: is it really yours, or is Xbox saying, "Oh no, it's just like you're borrowing it from us"? Well, like, no. What, what I'm, I'm, I'm not even saying. I'm not, even no, saying. That, I'm not saying that. That right there is the question that needs to be answered for your guys' debate. Well, That's no, not, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm only saying it from the standpoint of going through a third-party medium like GameStop. If it's just a person selling it to another person, that's whatever. That's, okay, that's so your property. Let, let me but stop when you. Right use there. Game, let, when you let use me, a GameStop, me, the game, the, the, that company has no right, though. To let me, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Let me. Okay, so if you buy the game, it is your property. Hmm? If you sell it to the game, no matter who, it is now their property to do as they wish. Would you not say this? Wait, say that again. Say that again. If you buy a game, it is your property. And if you sell this game to whoever or whatever, it is their property. Would you not say this? Agreed. Once it's once it's in your in their hands, it's out of. Once it's in somebody else's hands, it's theirs. So it's GameStop now. So GameStop can do. What I'm saying is, I'm saying from the standpoint from the standpoint of a company to company basis, not person to person. It's different. I'm not seeing a difference. If, I'm really not. It's a company standpoint. It's you basically GameStop is selling you the game. You're the one buying it. If you want to sell it to somebody else, that's perfectly fine. But the thing is, when you go to sell their property that they sold to you to somebody else, another company, to then sell the game to make more to make their own money off of it, the moment money is is in the process, everything changes. Is this illegal? It's not illegal. It's then just, there is no problem. Yeah, he had to go out without him out. It's just, I'm sorry, when it comes to game stuff, it's just... It's all the very slippery slope. It is a very slippery slope. Cause I blame them for this whole idea of... I blame I blame them for the whole reason of the whole non used game res, disc registration that thing. It's not gonna fly though. That shit's not. I gonna hope it doesn't. Fly. I personally hope it doesn't. It's not gonna happen. There's too many variables. Yeah. But, uh, just, actually, just, I'm gonna. The, just the gonna fact of how up. rickety these damn systems have been alone makes that shit impossible. I'm not gonna go out and spend like, like seven hundred dollars on a brand new damn actually, console. The, the new it Xbox fuck up for whatever out. reason. The new Xbox up. comes out for the new PS three hundred. It's not 700 bucks anymore. Like they're not jacking up the prices. They're basically keeping it at a standpoint. I think all Still, of this is I then have to go rebuy all of my $65 games because I don't. I no longer have the same disc. No, no I, I agree. Dumb. I agree. There should be. There should definitely be a used game system. But I think that you know, if, if a game like Microsoft, if a company like Microsoft wants a small kickback for their property when being when being sold through a third party medium, it's not an. For a profit, I mean, if GameStop wasn't making a hundred percent profit, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But GameStop really is making a, a metric shit ton of money for something that you know is practically theft. I mean, they really are. They're making an, a ridiculous amount of money through a system that they built up themselves. Yeah, I'm not arguing it. It's, it's, they built up. They deserve something from it. But I'm saying, if Microsoft wanted a little something, a tiny, they didn't ask for much. Five percent of their profit is not a lot with well, how the thing much they received. make. Like I said, they're classified as a pawn shop. That's exactly what a pawn shop does. I mean, I guess. No matter how wide, widely recognized a store or retailer might be, it's still a pawn shop. I guess. Stolen ga- uh, even stolen games. I, I remember talking to, uh, I was working for a customer at Kmart, and she was looking for a game. I'm like, oh, we don't have this game. You can try GameStop across the street. She's like, I'm not ever going there ever. I'm like, oh, why? She's like, because my son had a game stolen once. And uh, whoever stole it sold it to GameStop, and I tried to get the game back, and they said no. Since we're classified as a pawn shop, that's impossible. Once we take the game back, it's ours. Yeah. So I mean, it's a pawn shop. So essentially, I mean, like any kind of different pawn shop, it's your argument is kind of that's what BG was almost trying to get at, like the TV thing. It can be done for any pawn shop, essentially. It's, it's just because we're so close to gaming and stuff like that that I think we have some strong opinions on it. You know. I guess. But uh. Anyways, going to GameStop, um, I have just a little funny story to end the podcast because we've been going for an hour and a half now. Yeah. So I bought Sleeping Dogs used their 
uh, last Saturday. Uh huh. It hasn't, even, it hasn't even been a week since then. And I beat it within like a few days because I've just been doing nothing but playing that game. What, did you sell it back for like 20 bucks? Well, no, no, no. I since it's been since it was within the first week, I could return it for a full price. Oh, cool. And <laughs> I, cause I used the phrasing I used for it. I'm like, yeah, I'd, I'm like, it's like uh, I bought it less than a week ago. I just beat it, so I'm gonna get my full price back and uh, just get uh, Saints Row the Third. The guy's okay. just sitting there. He just gives me like a dirty ass look. He's like, technically, beating a game is not a reason to return it, but I'll do it anyway. So it's like. <laughs> Someone's stingy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, me and my well, buddy just the they get whole summer one. As they, they employees of GameStop of get noted down like with a with a bad notation when they have to return a game. Every time you return a game to GameStop, the employee that has to return it has a bad uh, re- bad note placed on his uh, his name. Yeah, oh, so, so, okay. I just be, I already beat Saints Row within the first couple of days that I bought it. It's actually a very short game. Yeah, there. Oh, so look at this guy over here beating games within three to four days. Oh, look at, at this yeah, because at GameStop, they're they, when when you work when you're hired at GameStop, they, your your manager literally tells you, try your best to convince them not to return it. So what I'm going to do is go to a different GameStop just because I feel like they'll probably recognize me again. Like, hey, I want to return this game. No, fuck you. I'm gonna. <laughs> And and, and and no joke, no joke. If 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 you if when they do that, if you raise a stink about going to the GameStop, they'll send out a notice about that. Yeah. They will. They'll send out a notice to, every, to all the GameStops in the area, saying this 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 uh, power this this uh, if you have a power award, they'll label yeah. you a power award or ID or something. They'll send out a notice and say, listen, this guy's coming through. Don't j- just j- just try and convince him not to do it. Yeah. That's how GameStop uh, runs things, and it's pretty fucking scary, sketchy. Yeah. I'm just going to probably mostly just put most of that money on. I think I only have eight bucks left in my dead space reserve, so we'll all yeah. just get a gift card since it's going to be a different GameStop. You but could totally yeah, move I'm all just going to go and run that now and get money game back. Game. And... Dead Space is going to be awful. Dead Space is going to be awful. You I, watched, all that money I watched Game Grumps play right like a half an hour of the, of the beta, and it disgusted me. The game honestly looks terrible. I played the beta and then I laughed and then I went back to playing DMC. Yeah, the the, the game honestly just looks looks awful. We'll see, but anyways, it's uh, nothing like it's really it's really like, it's really more of an FPS now than it is a survival horror. There's almost no survival horror left in it. It's hey, really, what it, other it, famous what other famous branch is that? There is. Silent Hill it was never survival horror. Stop <laughs> classifying it as that. For, the first game was more survival horror no, than it was not. Uh, <laughs> Let's save that. I actually. <laughs> oh God! But uh. Right. Wait. Hold on. No, uh, come on. He is legitimately up. <laughs> Why is it not survival horror? Explain it to me. Why? Uh, just for clarification, he's talking about Resident Evil. No, I'm talking. I'm talking Dead Space. Yeah, I'm talking. Not Dead Space. Silent Hill. It was not Silent Hill or survival horror. <laughs> All right, Gollum. Keep choking. Yeah, terrible. <laughs> That was that was me, DA. I I, I knew it was you. I knew who, I knew who was talking. But yeah, just okay. <laughs> bottom line, oh, game stops. Okay, so Ooh. I think we should end it there. We've been going for an hour and a half. Yeah, we have been going kind of longer than you than ever lately. Yeah, a little bit. We have a lot. We have a lot. We have a lot of time backed up anyway. Are we gonna do another one after this, or just this one? Um, your guys' call. I can do another one if you guys want. I'm enjoying it, but the conversations, the conversations we're having right now is actually pretty good. Okay. Alrighty, so we will end this episode here. Thanks. Just, I, I, like a, I, I, I like a half an hour break. <laughs> I'm trying to end the podcast proceed. Okay, I, I'm being an ass, like usual, so bite me. So, Bridge. thanks again for tuning in, everybody. We will see you next Bridge. week. Latest.